Namaste. We'll begin our namaskaram, our sun salutation, by sweeping our arms out in front of us. And as you exhale, drawing the hands through is a way of listening to your heart and really feeling what are you bringing into your consciousness as you begin the day, as you begin your practice. This mudra is called Hasta Mudra with the palms open in receptivity. Now bring your hands to your sacrum, root down and rise up through your spine like bamboo. And exhale, bring your hands to the backs of your legs as you flow down. So we're basing this pattern on classical Surya Namaskar. So when you're ready, step your left leg back, draw your knee down, And on an inhale, sweep your arms up, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, take your hands to your lower back and keep this extension. Now hands to the earth, draw your knees together, and we'll take this variation of Anahata Asana or the heart opening asana. We'll be with this a few rounds. This whole sequence really develops the opening through the spine so you can shift forward and prepare for Chaturanga Dandasan and that variation. Draw the heart forward away from your toes and then exhale, hands under the shoulders, press up, open your hips and pull back through the pelvis as you press your hands into the earth for downward dog. Now you can either bend your knees or straight legs in downward dog. Now looking forward, step the same left foot. Take your knee to the earth. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to the sacrum. So just lifting straight up for now, but gradually we're going to go deeper into the back bend. So stepping forward, go ahead and fold into Uttanasana. And on an inhale, come up the front of your legs, then to your sacrum. Feel the beginning of a back bend. And exhale, back to center. On an inhale, open your arms. Bring your hands to your sacrum. Lift up through your heart with the inhale. And exhale, massage the backs of your legs as you flow down. This time, step your right leg back, knee comes down. Lift from your lower belly as you sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the sacrum, rising up, really feeling a strong core. Exhale down, knees under your hips, hands stretch forward. Keep your arms in the downward dog position spiraling away from your face and then inhale come forward shoulders over the elbows feel the danda from the heels heart and pelvis and then let that shift into the beginning of cobra hands come under the shoulders translate that now back into downward dog and always listening as to whether you want to have the knees bent or straight legs Looking forward, step the right foot between your hands, left knee down, sweep the arms overhead, same flow as the hands come to the sacrum, really beginning to open the front gate of the spine, the quadricep, lower belly, and psoas. Hands to the earth as you exhale, step forward and bow. Now inhale coming up, draw the hands up, push back through the thighs and keep that alignment as you stretch back and exhale to center. So the second cycle now, inhale, open your arms with the option of extending straight up. Exhale, hands come down, bowing into Uttanasana forward bend. 
Step the left leg back, knee comes down. Inhale, sweeping straight up, either hands apart, or if you like, you could interlace them. Exhale, hands to the earth, and extend back, knees, heart, Anahata Asana as you exhale. Come forward, shoulders over the elbows, lift your knees. And come into low or high cobra now. And exhale, pressing back, downward dog. Always pulling through the center in your belly. Feet together, step the left foot forward between your hands, right knee comes down. Next progression, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Now step your right foot forward to the left and fold in Uttanasana. And inhale, coming up, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, drawing through your center. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sweeping down. And stepping back with your right leg, knee comes down. Really develop the strength through the front, back, and sides of your body as you rise up and exhale, hands to the earth, knees, heart, anahata. And now coming through, dandasan, and lower down, either high or low cobra, or the first position, elbows under the shoulders. So in this namaskar, you get to really listen to your body and always choose the variations that are right for you. So coming up and pressing back into downward dog. And slowly step your right foot forward, take your left knee down and slowly sweep the arms up again, emphasizing the stability in your spine in this round. Exhale, hands to the earth, stepping forward, feet together. And on an inhale, slowly come up. And exhale. To center and continuing but going deeper with each round inhale sweep the arms up if you like interlace the first few fingers either go straight up or feel the beginning of a back bend right behind the heart the stability through the lower belly down through the tailbone and heels exhale lower down And step your left leg back, knee comes down. Now bring your hands to your lower back and either go straight up for stability or begin to go deeper into the back bend, always lifting behind the heart. And exhale, hands to the earth. Now you can either stay with the rhythm that we were doing from Anahata or you can come forward into half Chaturanga or full Chaturanga. Lower down, either in low or high cobra, or upward dog. And exhale, pressing back, downward dog. Step the left foot forward, knee comes down. Inhale, hands to the sacrum, either rising straight up or arcing back. Exhale, hands to the earth, stepping forward and bow. 
Inhale, rising up, either going straight up or interlace your first three fingers and experiencing the back bend. And exhale to standing. So we're halfway there as we continue to deepen in this practice, sweeping the arms overhead with the inhale. Please listen to your body and only go as far as it feels good. Exhale down. Inhale, step your left leg back. Knee comes down. Inhale, either hands to the sacrum or interlace your first three fingers, rising up, arcing back. Exhale, hands to the earth, either Anahata Asan, half chaturanga or full chaturanga. Rise into cobra or upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. So step your left foot forward between your hands. Really getting in the rhythm of your practice. Knee comes down. Sweep your arms up with the inhale. And on an exhale, slowly come down. Stepping forward with the same breath and fold. Rising up, feeling the power of these yoga asanas to open not just the body, the spirit, breath, heart flow. Exhale back to center and continuing, either take your hands to your sacrum or hands overhead. Continue to make these choices every day listening to your body, really feeling what you need. And exhale slowly down into the forward bend, bowing and releasing. And now step your right leg back and take your knee to the earth. Find your hand variation. Open your spine with the inhale. And exhale, hands to the earth. Knees or straight legs, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, press back, downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. Knee comes down. Inhale, opening. Long flow of breath. And then ride that wave down as you exhale, stepping forward, bowing, and rising with that sacred connection with the inhale hands to the sacrum or reaching overhead. Going deeper in the back bend and exhale to standing. So take a moment before the last round and make a dedication inside. This can relate to the flow of your life bringing any quality or any intention into your day. As we move through this cycle, we'll circulate this prayer. Inhale, sweeping the arms out. Opening in the back bend. And exhale, bowing forward, releasing, surrendering. Slowly step back with the left leg. You can rise through the sky in standing splits. 
or you can just step back, your choice. Knee comes down. Inhale, rising up. Your hand variation, including a new one, just hands to the earth. And slowly come forward, exhale. Knees or straight legs, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise into Upward Dog or Cobra. And exhale back, Downward Dog. Feet together. Inhale, step the left leg forward between your hands. Knee comes down. Inhale, sweeping up. Come into your variation. exhale hands to the earth as you step now come into standing splits as an option and exhale feet together and go deeper into Uttanasana inhale rising up And exhale, back to center. So making the same dedication through your practice or opening to a new quality to embody in this flow. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Option of standing splits. And exhale, pressing back, knee down. Inhale, feel the freedom and opening, the stability and centering. Now exhale, back down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise into Upward Dog or Cobra, thighs off the ground. Exhale, press back. Now step your right foot forward between your hands. Knee comes down. Inhale, opening through your spine. And exhale, coming up into standing splits. Inhale. And exhale to Uttanasana. And inhale, rising up. Coming into the back bend. And exhale back to center. Staying steady in the grace flow of your practice so bend your knees we're going into a counter pose now coming into twisting ukatasan draw your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh make a fist with the bottom hand and as you press down receive that leverage to extend your spine right arm to the sky exhale back to center inhale opening Exhale, back to center. All the way now into Uttanasana, releasing the legs. And now bend your knees, sweep the arms up, and we'll change sides. Exhale, take your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Make a fist. As you press down, extend through your heart, left arm across the sky. And exhale back to center. Two more rounds. Counter pose for the spine. Exhale. Inhale, opening. And exhale back to center. Now inhale, come all the way up. 
and exhale, bring your hands to your vision center, to your third eye. And really feel the grounding and openness to live your day fully with love, passion, creativity. Really listen to the qualities that you want to bring into your life. As we circle the arms out, this is where you can make your final dedications. So what will you be bringing into your practice, into your life, and into the world? Complete your practice here and go to Shavasana, deep relaxation, or continue on for the other flows. Om Shanti. Peace, peace, peace.